Hello, my name is Karen Shuffler, and I'm a board-certified specialist in swallowing and swallowing disorders. I want to show you how level 3 pill swallowing gel can make swallowing pills safer and reduce the fear of swallowing pills. Of course, results presented here are one person's experiences, and individuals need to be evaluated with instrumental exams to determine effectiveness. This person was in her 60s and post a right upper lobe lung resection due to lung cancer. She had prolonged intubation, which was the underlying cause of the airway trauma, her trach placement, and her lingering dysphagia. Her inpatient fees showed silent aspiration with thin liquids, and she was really at risk for aspiration with all consistencies and kept NPO until her rehab. At rehab, they repeated an instrumental evaluation with a video fluoroscopic swallow study. She improved but still had aspiration risk and was kept on mildly thick liquids. Her trach was able to be removed, which was at 14 days prior to our outpatient video swallow study. And we'll talk about that now. She rated her dysphagia then with the EAT-10 scale, and it still showed some stress and an impact in the pleasure of eating. She still had the burden with pills and rated them as a 2 out of 4 on the EAT-10 scale. Her video findings showed minimal dysphagia with just some penetration with thin liquid that we'll take a look at here. And her major risk was when she had some trace thin liquid penetration down to the level of the vocal cords when she was trying to get this pill out of her mouth. You can see she's holding it in her mouth, kind of shaking her head no, really trying to toss her head back like that, which really can start getting risky. She eventually had to just spit out that pill. Here is the pill embedded in the pill swallowing gel level three. And you can see it just cruised right out of her mouth all the way down through her esophagus safely without the risk of aspiration on the thin liquids.